Alright guys, so I'm going to show you on Holly Sniper EFI how to uh, flip a switch and start a data log. Now the reason I'm doing this, because say if you're watching all your data while you're driving, and you want to start a data log while you're driving, you got to hit, click, hit the screen, go to home, log, start data log, and then you got to go back to your, your data screen. Now, I don't really like taking my eyes off the road for that long. Um, they did help a little bit. If you go to setup, uh, you got enable trigger up there, channel, condition, and value. Uh, channel, you can just set, say, we go to RPM, and condition is above, and then we can set this to, say, the 73, ooh, that's a little high, 4180 of the RPM. Above 4,180 4, RPMs, it'll turn on the data log. Now, that's fine, but I wanted to switch. So... We're going to show you guys how to do that today. All right, guys, so to get to turn on a data log with the switch, I have my Holly sniper harness. Kind of ran inside a little bit. I pulled it out for educational video purposes. Um, we have a yellow and blue wire. I tagged this onto the orange 5-volt reference wire. And then I also have a green wire, which is input number 5 wire. I have them both going to a switch. Um, this is an, a three pin switch. I'd recommend a two pin. This has an LED in the front. Uh, I wired it so the LED D does not turn on because I don't want the LED drawing from the five volt uh, reference wire. Uh, I don't want to burn up that five volt circuit inside the sniper. So I'd recommend just a two pin switch. Right now the switch is off. Now if you watch the data log screen, I'm going to hit the switch on, and now it just started the log. I'm going to show you how to configure it all in the sniper in a second. But one thing I don't really like about this is you cannot, once you hit the switch, turn the switch off, it will not turn off the log. You have to actually manually go to the screen and shut off the log. Now it kind of takes away from the purpose of having the switch, but at least you can start the log whenever you want, and then shut it off by going to the screen. Now in the next part, we're going to get on the Holly EFI software, and I'll show you how to program it. Alright guys, so when you open your tune file on your computer, it's going to look something like this. We're going to go up to Sensors, right there, and then we're going to go to Custom Number 2. Now I already have this set up uh, how it needs to be, but I'm going to run down through it with you guys. First we've got to enable it, Sensor Type, 5 volts, Input number five because we're using the number five input on the sniper harness I uh, name it name it whatever you want uh, format doesn't really matter uh, I like to go 1.2 for the decimal uh, unit we're gonna use volts now this we're gonna do about one through five easy way to do this I found is if you go one then you hit yes yes then you this is all going to be different for you guys, so go 5 there, and then you go fill row values, there we go, and it just changed all the values to start at 1 and end at 5, about uh, gradually. Um, we're not going to worry about any of this sensor warning stuff, uh, safe to set up, not going to worry about it. Uh, okay, then also down here. We can go 0 to 5, so if you just go, you click on the 0, and you dra drag it over while holding the mouse button, and then right click, and then fill values, it kind of changes them all to be equally spaced out. Um, we want something that obviously looks like this. Now uh, we go up here to save, and then we can go... Uh, upload the file to the sniper EFI unit and then test it out. Alright guys, so now that we got the sniper all programmed, now we can set up our logging. You're going to want to go to setup. Uh, you're going to want the enable trigger, which is already marked for me. Channel, you're going to want custom 2. And then a condition, you're going to want above. 
and value, you're going to want about two. Uh, you can go two, three, or four, because we have a five volt reference. Then you're just going to hit save, then you're ready to go. I'm going to hit the switch, and it starts to log. So that's how that's done. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and like the video. Thanks for watching.